So here's a fun fact. Um, this movie was on the list of stuff I wanted to watch this October. Um, it's actually September. Uh, spoilers, we do watch these movies in advance. Um, I'm just trying to get all these horror movies out of the way. And today, September 7th, I didn't even realize this, but one of the actors in this movie, Danny Masterson, a.k.a. Hyde from that 70s show, was just sentenced to 30, 30 years. years in prison. That happened I today. Just that. I just saw that, yeah. <laughs> And I was just like, liter- I was literally thinking, like, you know what we should watch today? Dracula 2000. I didn't even think of that. And then all of a sudden my phone alerted me. I was like, holy shit, now we have to watch it. So, without any further ado, uh, Wes Craven's Dracula 2000, what the hell? Dimension. Um, from Dust Till Dawn. All right? Another good vampire movie. Hell yeah. One of uh, the best. Let's see. I got six little friends, and they can all run faster than you. Oh, the fucking, uh, what's it called? The uh, American Horror Story font. Boo. <laughs> mm. Terrible. Jerk, the 2000. Sounds pretty silly. I mean, yeah, it sounds pretty dated in hindsight in the year 2023, doesn't it? Oh, boy. Hey, wait, 1897, this is bullshit. Mm. We were lied to. Hey, Johnny Lee Miller, dude. That's the guy from Hackers. That's Zero Cool. Dude, Zero Cool, dude. You're going to love this shit, right? You've never I've seen never this, zero right? Cool. I've never seen this, no. You know, there's actually uh, two sequels to this movie, but unfortunately they're not called Dracula 2002, 2003. They're just called Dracula, like, Ascension or some bullshit. Dracula Legacy. I think Jason Scott Lee is in the third one. You know, cruises back in the 1800s were pretty weak if you look at the stuff. Yeah, all the rats and diseases and all the food is, like, covered in salt. That's how you preserve it. (laughs) You gotta just, like, store your meat in a barrel of salt. I'm sure that's delicious. And if you want to rinse the salt off, you can wash it with salt water. Ew. (laughs) Rinse the salt off, wash it off with salt. (laughs) Yeah, it's awful. I'm sure you could try to, like, take your chances on fishing, but if you don't fucking catch any fish, that's... you're in trouble. Also, the other thing is, like, you think uh, being on a boat, you know, a lot of leisure. No. Oh, that rat's so cute. Oh, Ooh. he's so cute. We watched that movie, um, The uh, Last Voyage of the Demeter, that came out this year. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. But I guess I like how they're summing up that whole movie in, like, the opening credit sequence. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, Dracula crashed. I mean, he took over the bo- uh, the crew. He killed everyone on the crew. And then the, the ship was derelict and crushed crashed on London, and that's how uh, Dracula comes out and gets his uh, property at Carfax Abbey. I just like the idea that Dracula is doing, like, you know, real estate. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you'd have to be. It's like that joke, that meme. Like, if you're 200 years old, the idea that you haven't somehow amassed wealth... Come on, dude. Like, you haven't figured out how to buy property and just, like, coast at this point. Right? There's nothing worse than a poor vampire, a vampire without money. Yeah, you've been around forever. You saw we got it together, dude. A homeless vampire. How sad. They always got to live in some dope-ass castle. Always have to have a cape, too. They're the most materialistic of movie monsters, I'll tell you that much. So what's the point of the cape? I was just curious. What's, what, what does it do for him? I, I assume it's like, back in the day, it just protected your clothes from weather. But Perhaps. it does look very cool, like, flowing behind you. It's, like, menacing. It's pretty sweet. You probably get snagged on shit all the time. It's yeah. like an overcat. Yeah, I don't understand the big capes that drag, and you have to have, like, a servant, like, holding it for you. It's like, well, what's the point? Well, any superhero with a cape, I just feel like someone could, like... The cape should it. be, like, ankle height. Ankle right length. Ankle. ankle or, like, mid-calf. It needs to go p- below the knees. Look at him. God damn, the audio mixes on these movies are so terrible. It's the same thing with Broken Arrow. You can barely fucking hear anyone talking, but then when the fucking explosions happen, there's like fucking ear deafening. He's actually doing his real English accent. Hell yeah. He does a good American accent in Hackers. I had no idea that he was English. Right. Neither. It was like uh, we watched American Psycho the other day, and it's like Christian Bale, how he's like talking... Uh, an American accent the whole movie to where when he started talking in his native British tongue they thought he was like preparing for another role that's funny I'm, I'm, I'm no 
Jesus Christ. Harvey Harvey Weinstein uh, called Scott Derrickson, a script doctor, and told him, hey, I've just bought this script called Dracula 2000. And Derrickson said, oh, yeah? Is it good? And he says, it stinks. So why did you buy it? Because it's called Dracula 2000. <laughs> What the fuck? He just knew people would see it because it's... I mean, you have to understand, this is post-Scream. You know, we're living... Scream came out in 1995, I think? 96? So, you know, everything has to have sexy young people now. Horror movies are back, and they're very, like, posh. Look at this girl. Look at this guy. They fuck. I'm sure they fuck well. They're attractive. Look at them. That was just a lady walking into a, you know, random secretary. I like to go to Waterloo Station. Hey, Queef, we get to do another accent, accent riddled uh, we watch. <laughs> I noticed the last few we watches are a lot of like country accents, a lot of cowboys. It's like, ah, we need to go back to the old British, you know, kingdom. <laughs> See, you know she's classy because she has a little chapstick holding her hair. I don't know. I can get a chapstick too, bro. It doesn't mean I'm classy. <laughs> Hand them out for free, you know. Right? Oh, a Bobby, the Bobby. Oh, Carfax Antiquities, like Carfax Abbey, <laughs> Keanu Reeves, Carfax Abbey. Carfax. That's like the name of Dracula's property that he buys in England. Was that Stewie? What? Was that Stewie from Mad TV at the behind that desk? No way. Oh, the techno uh, music. You, you see how loud that taser was compared to the dialogue? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's fucking loud. Oh, here's Omar. Omar Epps. I knew we couldn't trust a black Bobby. England doesn't have them, you see. All right. Uh, this music is uh, awful. Oh, my God. My debit, card, my debit card is getting declined. Oh, dude. there he is. <laughs> There is convicted sex pest, Danny Masterson. Oh my god, it's Cliff from Dead Man on Campus. Oh god, that's another thing the Matrix is fucking responsible Dead. for. Yeah, I know. Dude's walking around thinking this looks cool. You look like a nerd. Like, he looks the lamest out of all of them with his like, dumb hair. you see hair. a dude walking around like that in person, you know that dude isn't getting any action. Like, you know what I mean? He's, like, like trying too hard. Look at, like, see, remember I was saying, like, capes below to the ankles? Like, that's cool, but that's a cape. You're already wearing something ridiculous. Like, at, a, at a festival? Sure. Wearing something like that, maybe. That was the worst thing about the Columbine shootings. Ruined those duster jackets for everybody. No, I'm just kidding. That was the worst thing, you son of a bitch. The second worst thing about Columbine. I'm yeah, sorry. Like, Jesus, Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, my favorite leech. Little Howie. This is Their delicacy. I place this on my testicular every night to increase fertility. <laughs> and vitality. Dude, you did fucking... Fucking exfoliate. What's up with this hand skin? Do these <laughs> do these guys have uh do these guys seem like they're super high tech crime caper dudes? I mean they they seem like they I don't know, they should be all just you know, smoking pot in Hyde's basement. Oh yeah, I gotta stand by the door and look cool when it opens. Oh yeah, they're okay, so this is an antiquities place. They're going to steal some valuable antiques, I guess. Because that's where the money is. Antiquing. Yeah, who cares about drugs? Like, I know drugs makes a shitload of money, but you want to make a lot of money, go steal a vase or something. You know what? Go steal a painting and try to sell it to somebody. Yeah, that's... that's Yeah, good luck. Yeah, also, it's like a one-of-a-kind painting, so it's like... Well, the guy can't, like, hang it up in his house after he buys it from you. They'll be like, hey, this painting was stolen from a museum. Where'd you get it? Oh, I bought it from this guy. Where did he get it? It's a print. Like it's a it's a print. Guys, if you want to make a lot of illegal money, sell heroin. Sorry. That's just the way it is. (sighs) 
Hello? Is anyone in here? Hello? Come on, you guys, stop messing around. You guys aren't supposed to leave the big vault door open. I'm telling the boss. It's like catacombs and shit in there. What's going on? This is like a, just a big expensive wine cellar. Whoa. You're telling me she's never been in the vault? She works there. Those his fangs are all weird on his buck teeth fangs. Yeah. What's going on with that guy? It's Nosferatu. It's the first vampire. From That's like reference to uh, the, frit, the uh, silent film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was funny looking. I knew a guy who looked like Nosferatu in a little bit. Handsome fella. Oh, whoa, dude, that was someone's <gasps> skull. Oh, she's in it. Oh, she's with the robbers. It's an inside job. That's how they had. That's how they knew how to defeat the security systems. Why'd you take your glasses off? Yeah, because she has to see better with her <laughs> without her glasses. Common movie trope. Also, we know that this uh, this black guy oh, is smart oh. because they put glasses on him. This is like a common racist thing she, Hollywood she does. Just, she, she took the glasses off so she could kiss him without their glasses clinking together. That's what happened. I gotcha. La, 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 la. Guess I guess it eats it. Hey! I mean... Yeah, juicing it up. Oh, he burned what? the leech? That's what I get for working for you, huh? Oh, this yeah. dude shoots up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing his, uh, you know, Bella Lugosi impression. Another callback to Dracula, you know? <laughs> Alfred's getting fucked up tonight. Alfred. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like Alfred. You know, what's funny is Christopher Plummer, um, pretty sure he's Amanda Plummer's father, but also... Christopher Plummer and Johnny Miller from Hackers, they've both played Sherlock Holmes before. I mean, who hasn't played Sherlock Holmes, you know? I played Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. I role-play Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <coughs> and my mate is uh, Watson. Quite elementary, Watson. Use your freeze spray. Dude. Just spray some hot air onto it. Let's go, like, freaking computer cleaner, that duster and shit. Well, so, surely uh, whatever we want is behind the big skull door. <laughs> you know? Ah, it's a coffin. I mean, I wouldn't be that surprised, honestly, because, like, I've seen all the skulls on the way down here, you know? What do you think it is, butthole? Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, man, there might be gold in there, bro. How am I supposed to afford new trench coats if we don't have a bunch of money? You know how much this perm costs? Well, it's working. Jesus. <laughs> I don't want you to open that coffin. I mean... Oh, uh, dude, obviously he's hiding all of his money in a super scary coffin in the bottom of a crypt. <laughs> this is one of those times where watching a lot of movies will Ray. help you. Where is that dude from? Where That guy. Where oh, is he in? Who? Omar Epps? No. no, Cliff. Yeah, he's Cliff, Cliff from Dead Man on Campus. He was also oh, in... Um, um, some other stupid movies. He was always playing like doofuses, yeah, comedic well, sidekicks. Is, you look at him, and that's what you see. He's in a bigger movies. I've not, I'm 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 having trouble placing, but that's where I always knew him from. He does that thing with his tongue in that movie. Oh God! Well, I guess he's the first to die. <laughs> well, it's nice seeing you, Cliff. Oh, not Omar. Oh wait, no. That's Julio. Am I feeling my booby traps going off downstairs? God damn it. This is the third time this month. 
It's not possible someone would try to steal from me and my... Oh, God. Oh, I see. He's thinking fucking Dracula's escaping. He's not thinking there's criminals. Spoilers, I'm assuming Dracula's in that coffin, right? The movie is called... Dracula? Well, no, dude, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> it's literally just like the corpse of Pee Wee Herman or somebody. Be like, what the fuck? <laughs> R.I.P. Pee Wee. Hey, R.I.P. Pee Wee. That's fun to say. On and sad at the same time. Yeah. Ooh, I like how he instantly cleans up his own blood. Oh, okay. So the booby trap. Why? The booby trap allows the blood to go into the coffin to wake up Dracula? Why? He, he grabbed wait, he grabbed one fucking projectile bullet. Like, that's it. He grabbed one shot. Yeah, it's like single, really confident. single action, you know? He's really confident. Oh, Christ. So, I guess, like, yeah, the blood fell into the coffin, and it's now doing its magic. Come on. Yeah. OMG, that was, like, totally loud. I don't like it. <laughs> Surely, someone is coming by now. I feel like we've been down here for an hour, guys. <laughs> yeah, I need help carrying this giant coffin out of here. Ew! <laughs> That's awesome. I'm just hanging here, don't worry about me. Hey guys, I'm still alive and stuff. Yeah, this is just really <laughs> in badly, a lot of pain. <laughs> Having trouble inflating my left lung, but other than that, I'm good. <laughs> Sexy. What's going on here? I don't. Kinky. I like fucking... real sex. I'm assuming that's uh, Dracula? What? <laughs> Also, that was Gerard Butler, I'm pretty sure. I, I totally forgot that he's Dracula. <laughs> Darling, it's like two in the afternoon. Just the time for all my pills. It's time for more pills. I brought you coffee for your pills. They still have night terrors because all those pills. Can I have some pills? <laughs> we love I pills. I want to ride the snake. I'm going to take more pills and go back to sleep. Bye. Good night. We're going to be late. Whatever. Dude, it's 3.45. I mean, she slept till then. Come on, man. Hey. Hey. I do it all I mean, the time. I do it too, but it's, o it's only allowed if you're going to bed at like 5 a.m., 4 a.m. If you're going to bed at like 10 p.m. and still sleep until 3, it's a problem. It's called depression. Yeah. I just, you know, I'm a night owl. Uh, yeah. Always have been. Since I was, like, a little child. God damn it. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Kind of shit you up to. Sorry. I love when Mother calls me in the middle of these to tell me the cat's here. I'm like, great. You got it. Oh. Mm. Statue guy. Hell yeah. I need to get a job doing that. I guess there's nothing stopping me, right? Just need to go buy some paint and stand somewhere. Fuck. Well, going back to work to buy those antiques I was talking about yesterday. <laughs> Surely nothing's wrong. What? Oh, what? Huh? The gods? Oh, the guards. I'm sorry. Where are the gods? Where are the gods? They took my stash, bro. I need it. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's somehow... I bet you he's somehow using the leeches to get Dracula's blood. And he's been getting high off of it. Wouldn't that make you a vampire? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. This movie's so dumb. <laughs> So far, pretty fucking dope. Look, Simon. You're the coolest antique stealer in the entire country of England. 
I trust you can find my coffin. Well, I'm El just Salvador. going to <laughs> El Salvador. You know, just going to Argentina. Go meet up with some friends from back in the '40s. I knew. I'll tell you, but you can't tell anyone. I took my sex toy case. And, well, he took my my porn collection. He took my, my real toys. doll. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, it was nice knowing you. Mm. Mm. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kiss yeah. him. Just, Kiss him lovingly. He, like, just, like, stares at him for a long time with his hand on his shoulder for, like, way too long. You got any vomit bags up here? Or seats? We might need some of those. Yeah, duh. We're in a plane. <laughs> Why would we use explosives? Oh, you mean after we land. Okay. So it's like a puzzle box? Yeah, surely there's a way to open it. I love puzzles. I would be the guy who's like, Get, bring it on. I'll figure out how to open this bitch. Yeah, seriously, like, give me a couple hours. First like, thing you start doing, try twisting those crosses. I'm sure one of those, gonna do. One of those crosses does something. Oh, oh, it's blood. <laughs> He's got to figure it out. You open the, open the coffin with blood. Jeez. I think he needs a nap. Yeah. Or 30 years of getting sodomized and in prison. One of the two. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, Danny. You shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have shouldn't done, have done, done that. <laughs> you could have gotten play without doing those things. No doubt. You're a celebrity. Easy. Yeah, easy. That's the thing. It's like celebrities that do shit like that to people, it like, makes no sense. Because it's like they could have gotten play. Well, I just have a thing for raping people, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think something's vaping in there. It's his dry ice collection. Oh! Bro, that smells like fucking egg farts bad in there. <laughs> It, like, pukes under the coffin. And it, <laughs> it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> it all over it's the like vampire. Fucking mustard <laughs> gas. It's like bleach and ammonia. Just like another booby trap. God damn it. Blow on it, dude. Blow on it. Waft it. Yeah, wa waft wafting. It. He starts huffing it. He starts huffing it. Oh, the leeches. Buzz. I knew the leeches were important. Oh, and he's got like a Silence of the Ma Lambs mask on, like a Hannibal Lecter mask on. <laughs> so he can't bite nobody. That's good. There's still juice, still in, this juice in this thing. What the oh, fuck? this is like some crazy torture victim of his. I'd be like, whoa, this is sick. Oh, is he going to turn into a vampire? That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Yeah, rip that bitch off of there, dude. Because it's sad that Cliff got killed, you know. He got impaled, and now he's out of the did movie. Did they have to glue this to his island to pull this off? Did they glue this to his island? Yeah, they did. It's like a little ketchup packet. I don't, I'm pretty sure they can't attach that quickly, but I... Oh, dude, I definitely got corpse aids. That's not good. Corpse I, aids. I need a shot, for sure. I need... I need so, it's like, please, it's like someone give me a drink. God damn I'd it. be very worried right now about sharing a leech with this body. <laughs> I'd be like, oh god. Yeah, I'd be pretty. I'd be, I'd be pretty He's just going right friends. back to finding the money. It's like, surely the money's under the dead body. Maybe the money's in the mask. I know. He's hiding. Take the mask off. He's hiding the money in the corpse's mouth. Yeah, put your head in there. It's like yeah. Fifth Element. The money's inside of him. Cut his belly open. Why is he tapping on it like... 
As if it's gonna do something. Is he gonna check out his pubes? Kinda... Why is he gonna check out his dick? Look Why at you... all the pubes. Those are giant pubes, bro. Why are you checking out his junk? All right, here's the money. This is what. Well, this has got to be it right here. Okay. That's it. Rubies. Where are the diamonds? It's under this dude's bedpan. Ah! Ooh, Dracula's a smoker. He had smoker's lips big time. Well, he's been alive for a long time, you know. Or dead or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Are they dead or they're alive? I don't know. They're undead. They're... Well, I'm undead. No, you're not. See, the way I like to think of it is like... I like I'm to alive, think of it. Which means I'm I, undead. So I like to think of it as like a corpse, right? During the day, it's a corpse in a coffin. It has to retreat into the coffin, and it becomes like kind of inanimate. And then when nighttime happens, it, it like you know, it's like a corpse coming to life, you know. <laughs> so it's real life. That's what it is. It's real life, not not undead. Yeah, it's, yeah, they're, it's they're real life. They're not from the realm of the living, you know. Well, I mean, they're not kinda. human. They're not. They human. started human. They started off as right, human. right. They're not anymore. But they're not undead, you know. A zombie. I don't know. What makes something dead? It not being animate, right? Or, like, I mean, you can't move your muscles or move anything without, like, the juices pumping the stuff. So, like, if you don't have... That's yeah. why no zombie movie makes any sense unless it's, like, a virus that affects your brain. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's, like... Yeah, I mean... That's something you never see in zombie movies is, like... Um, what's it called? <clears throat> when you uh, stiffen up. Um, when I stiffen up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Use promo code. Uh, Rick and Mortis. That's what I was thinking. Use promo code Stupenzo for Blue Chew for 15% yeah, off. Yeah, bro. We're going to start. I can't wait till we start having Blue Chew ads in the middle of these Wii Watches. That's going to be, be freaking hilarious. Can that'll, we please? That'll, know when we, that'll, that'll be when I know I've made it. When I start putting dick pill commercials in these videos as we make fun of vampires killing people. Anyway, it's because he died because he didn't have enough blue chew. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. If he had some blue chew, he would have been ready to rock. Solid. Hey, how you doing? I'm an old dude looking like a young dude playing another dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, he starts singing. Oh, whoa. <laughs> See, this is the kind of shit I like. Like, w women are like, ir you know, find him irresistible. <laughs> what the hell are you doing exactly? Oh, she gonna be a vampire too now? Shoot him in the face. I shoot him right in the face, dude. Oh, no, the heart? No, the face, dude. Dude, you're aiming wrong, bro. He's like right there. He's definitely getting him right in the center mass. No, but you go for the fucking face, dude. Hold his face open. He's aiming like an asshole. He just killed several people. You shoot him in the face. like. <laughs> or or at least just keep shooting him, you know? Maybe he's just high on drugs. He's high on meth. Oh, there you go. Decompressing the plane. We're just <laughs> being homie here vibing. Ooh, they're flying right into Mount Mount Doom. That's good. I can't see where I'm going or landing. This everyone buckle your seats, get back. Uh, you know, put your table yeah. <laughs> table trays down. We're experiencing some minor turbulence as we <laughs> fly into the hell cloud. If you can come on like a regular fucking uh, like, like oh my airplane god. Pilot. He's Look like, at this right, blatant that fucking gotta... advertising for Virgin Records. <laughs> oh, maybe she is a virgin. Maybe this is like subtle, uh, 
you know, not so subtle. You know, she is the pure blood that he's craving. She's Why? like, she's got a label on her chest. It says virgin right there. All right. The blood of virgins. He's standing right there, isn't he? Yo, you know where I could find uh, some really good uh, Benoits around here, New Orleans? I heard they're good. <laughs> Is it you smell like cabbage and tuna? <laughs> Whoa! Mary? Oh! <laughs> Why'd you do that? It's like when you drive through, like, it's like when you swim through warm water. You, like, pass through a ghost. <sighs> What's that feeling in the air? It's all those pills she's taking, giving her yeah. some weird shit. You're going imagining on. weird, red eyed. Handsome dude. This entire your... movie is just like Fight Club. This whole movie is taking place in her own mind, right? Because all the pills. God, she I just wish. can't stop eating pills. I'm I out mean, of, I'm almost out of pills. It's more likely that it's happening in her brain because of all the pills than this going on. But they're real. You should totally be scared. tried to kiss me. This breath smelled like fucking, oh, like a rotten tooth. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to keep everything confidential, right? <laughs> Dude, you know, what's funny is that's Nathan Fillion, you know, we recognize him from all the James Gunn movies and stuff, but he played an evil priest in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Hey. I guess. Like, yeah, fucking Nathan Fillion, poor guy, can't catch a break. <laughs> nah, bullshit, everyone loves his ass. I don't even know who he is. Well, it's because you're not a nerd. Because I'm, well, I am, but not like that. I have a terrible Sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. You're whispering too quietly, I'm sorry. Yeah, the mix of the movie so. is so bad, I cannot hear no, you. No, no, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about that guy. Like, no, I know. Like, you're, you're, so I'm sorry, my child. I have to read your subtitles to understand what you're confessing. She's like mouthing the words at him. I boycotted your bar, did you? This is not ASMR, okay? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe that's why priests are all perverts, you know? They just want a pretty lady to come and just whisper, I'm sorry, Father. I sinned. I, I want to go to a, I want to go to a Catholic confession. Thing and just say the wildest shit in the world. <laughs> just be like, it's confidential. I want to go thought. to a Catholic thing and just pretend I'm the priest and hear the wildest shit in the world. <laughs> I'd be like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> like, father, you give really fucking bad advice too. You like, never really react like that when I told you that previously. Excuse me. You said you did what? <laughs> you did what the fuck now? What the fuck you say you did? Oh, that's fucked up. Like, that's, like, really that's fucked up, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go say a bunch of Hail Marys, like, ASAP. You, you need, like, 3,000 Hail Marys by, like, <laughs> tomorrow evening. So. Remember Beavis and Butthead? Beavis and Butthead, hello, news reporter. Um, hey, that's, uh, ooh, uh, uh, Star, uh, Star Trek, Star Trek. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, that, that sexy board bitch. <laughs> I just saw an, uh, an interview with her just the other day. Oh, no, so he's seeing the plane crashed... And the coffin is there. Oh, no. And he's also having, like, vampire blood withdrawals. The suitcase is just full of syringes and fucking stash. I like how it's like, how many vampire movies have the fucking backdrop of New Orleans? And it's, it's like a common thing now. Renfield lost a, uh, sorry, a interview with a vampire. This movie. Uh, well, New Orleans has like that history of like some weird shit with like creepy things and, and voodoo and just like 
otherworldly shit. Like, you yeah. know, it's got a history of that, so I can see why. Right, but it's just been done before a bunch, so now when you get a new script on your table, it's like a vampire movie set in New Orleans. I'd be like, next, Ch- make, change it to uh, something different. I yeah, want to see... We, like, Go back to the desert. The Vampires in the done? desert. I mean, that'd be a stupid place for so, a like, vampire hey, to hang out. It's freaking totally... People like it being in New Orleans. Huh? Vampires in the jungle, or in the caves, or out in uh, the north, obviously. The super cold, you know? I mean, 30 Days of Night was pretty classic. Uh, you would think vampires yeah, would, would hang out. The vampires would live in fucking yeah, like shady Alaska, areas. Like this, I, no, no, I like, like a lot of tree can... cover or caves. You know, well, like where it doesn't become daytime. There's a yeah. there's a city where it's like not yeah. daytime for like six months of the year or whatever. But then out of the other six months, it's fucking solid daytime, so they'd be fucked. Well, that's why they that's why they fly out of there like a fucking reasonable person, and they go to the next dark place. Yeah, could be. They're not too smart. Valerie sure Sharp. Miss Sharp. That's not your fucking name. I am getting chewed up by bugs out here. This is Valerie Sharp. Turn me on at 11 to watch these stupid bugs kiss my... No, not Jerry. Jerry Ryan, no. Ooh. He's going to use his pinky nail like a cocaine guy? Come on. Like, that's not scary. Like a vampire using the pinky nail. I've seen that before. They have a little... Like when uh, his little cocaine, his cocaine finger. Yeah, it was like uh, Tom Cruise with his little metal fingernail he wore, and he'd poke your little neck and suck the blood out of a little hole. I like it when the vampires just take a big chomp out of your neck and just like get arterial spray all over them. Ah, make a big mess. <laughs> Although that is stupid to like kill your victims. Like yeah, you would just suck a, you just need to suck like a pint of blood, let him go, come back next week. Yeah, come back later. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like I've said before, if a vampire is just out killing everybody he drinks on and turning everybody into vampires too, it's stupid. He, you know, yeah, because it, it's like he's like it's like it's like turning everyone else into like a salesperson around your territory. <laughs> with like salesperson, with, with, no, like no, so yeah, you're a sales yeah. professional trying to make sales, right? And you're like fucking up your own market. Yeah. Like you're, you're making more vampires to take yeah. your fucking food. Also, it's like two, it's like cats. Like cats don't like each other. You know, they don't get along. I like to think vampires would be like solo riders, and then like every once in a while you get like a pack of vampires who obviously have like a leader. But I would think what, that would be rare. What what other fucking powers do vampires have besides um, like regenerative healing uh, with blood? Well, I mean, shit. I mean, pretty strength. much. Yeah, they, uh, I like it when they could do telepathy and mind control. I like it when they can um, do um, uh, you know invisibility, turn into smoke, turn into wolves, turn into bats. <laughs> you know. I like when they yeah. can shape shift. I like how they don't cast reflections. Okay. They can't, you know, they can't cross uh, running water. Did you know that? <laughs> they also really? can't. They can't walk on hollowed ground. So churches and they can and, cross stagnant water though. Right. It just can't be moving. I don't know why, but that's the rule. And then, but what also, if they're like, but what uh, the, if they're waiting and walking across water? Doesn't their waiting in it make it kind of run around them because I, of that? Therefore, creating uh, a current. Which would then also make them uh, able to cross. I'm just thinking about this too hard, but yeah, it's true. Yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> you just can't cross running water, whatever that means. They can, we can't walk across a bridge. They can't swim across it. I don't know. So if you're ever being chased by a vampire, just cross a river and you just be like, moon him on the other side. Ha, 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 fuck you. <laughs> I mean, can they fly over it? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Could, they could probably jump pretty far. You know? right. They got super strength. They could probably jump far. Oh, there you go. There's your question. He's got a fucking nine shooter, a little revolver. Well, now he's actually loaded. He's looking like he's Men in Black from the 1800s. Let's go. Metal, metal stakes. Uh, Dude, look at that gun. Look at that fucking gun. That's fucking weird looking. All right. I like how they just set up the bodies from the fucking plane crash in a school gymnasium. That's reasonable. Totally logical actions right here. Ah, uh, surprise, you old fuck. <clears throat> Isn't he a vampire too, though? Uh, no, I think he was drinking the vampire blood to like somehow be immortal. Like he's like that's maybe he's super old. Oh, uh, that's why he was using the fucking leeches on the vampire. Something. He's definitely having withdrawals now. He's feeling all shitty. He's all shaky and shitty. I think it's gonna be revealed that he's actually like 150 years old or some nonsense, and he's been staying alive to like. 
be a custodian to this vampire corpse to make sure he never escapes. What are you doing, what are you doing mate? That's Selena, mate. Whoa. Ah, dude, she's awake. Uh She's yeah, really. So they can jump over that running water. So I'm just, I just discovered. They can jump over that running water. I no also problem. like how she's Look really. That. Yeah. I think can leap across the river, dude. No doubt. There you go, Danny. You're out of this movie now, right? Is that it? Who the hell was that? They meant to kill us. They all meant to kill us. I, I like how they're really getting the hang of this vampire thing, like right out the gate. Like as soon as she wakes up, she's like, "I'm a vampire." Bye, and jumps away, and she's like, "Okay." Usually there's like a fucking couple days where you have to like learn your powers and figure out what the hell happened to you. And She should have woken up like, I'm scared. What's happening? I thought I was dead, you know? And then it's like, oh, I'm very thirsty. Like, we're not going to do that? She just wakes up straight up ready to kill? Okay. I'm I'm not... yeah, she's hungry. She's hungry. Maybe she's like a pawn of Dracula. Like Dracula kind of controls her. So I like that stuff with the master vampire. Like the Master oh, yeah. Vampire has little what, drones. What other movies, what other movies had Master Vampire shit going Salem's on? Salem's Lot. Uh, that's the big one. Um, what else? Affects There's the whole one. town. Um, there's, you know, I think Peter in... Um, uh, um, uh, no, what was it? Yeah, but Master Vampires, usually it's like Jerry Dandridge in Fright Night. He was the master. So you kill the Master Vampire, everyone else turns human. It's like a good cop-out. Right. No, I know. I, I don't know, like that like, one. <laughs> I don't like that either. That's stupid. But you kill the Master say. Vampire, and all the other vampires are, like, sad. <laughs> but... <laughs> Bro, you're a vampire. Please. No, don't unload all your shit, you sick fuck. You well, gotta, I guess you could you could fish those out and then put them you back could, in, you maybe. Could, you, that's, that's true. Are they like chamber unless rounds? They primers, unless they have primers on each one of them. No, I think the gun has some kind of like propel propulsion system in the gun. What, a CO2? Yeah, to... it's like a fucking BB gun. <laughs> Well, it's like, it's it's fucking just literally a fucking CO2. God damn it. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Perfect weapon to kill vampires. That's why I love vampires, because they're so powerful, but they're also such pussies, you know? Like, they you kill... manufactured that weapon right there. I want to look at, look at that gun. Like, yeah. Oh, wait. wait how, do you know there was a, how do you know there was a knife in there? He saw Helsing do that, because she was going to stab that woman, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, shake a bitch. Oh, yeah, they're only active when you open it. They're... Shank a bitch sounds like someone's last name. Shank a bitch. Shank a bitch. Weird, weird Al Shank a bitch. Yeah, I can lift up like this. This is better <laughs> than money, power, bloodlust. Why does he have big, solid red eyeballs? Is <laughs> this? He was the only actor that was brave enough to wear the full eye contacts. <laughs> I'm sure this must have been fun for Omar Epps, who normally plays like very dramatic roles, you know. And here he gets to be a silly vampire jumping out a window. Sure. I'm sure this would have been fun to make. It probably. Yeah. See, this is what I was looking for. Uh, but then, obviously, this is obviously a ruse because vampires are lying demons from hell, and they're just lying to get your blood. Is he a vampire too? He's something. I thought this little black guy was gonna be like the friendly one who who uh, who's like helping. You know, I thought he would have been like the good. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, the thief with the heart of gold. You know what I mean? This guy's like an antiques dealer. No, we don't actually. We're we're quite frigid. Quite We're quite plain Jane, if you don't mind me saying. Love. Just that good old bit of the wanking and maybe some missionary and that's Wait, so mean. hold on. Like, those bullets that you shot that other dude with that killed that one guy aren't working on these other ones? I guess you gotta hit him right in the heart. Um. Dude, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Her fangs are silly looking. She has, even... super, she has superhuman strength. Why isn't she not handling this? Well, I like how her fangs are just like normal, um, 
like they're like normal little uh what are your uh canines like they're like little incisors the teeth next to your incisors and they just have little pointed tips i also don't like how vampires can like hide their fangs like their fangs grow i don't like that shit they always have fangs their fangs are always out fangs like they have like a special muscle to those yeah, fangs. i don't like it it's stupid i mean i yeah, like the yeah. idea that maybe like you can use like your mind control powers and like the woman would see a handsome man even though you're actually like a hideous beast like that is right. better yeah. But this idea that, like, oh, it's time to turn into a vampire, and I just, like, grow my fangs now. It's like, what? Like, the idea is a vampire would talk to you with fangs, and you're so entranced, you don't even notice them. You're just, like, looking at his fucking glowing red eyes, like, whatever you say, sir. Yeah, why don't you girls come home with me? <laughs> right now. What Leave your date. What was that movie where um, Genghis Khan um, was mind-controlling people? It was an old school movie, remember? You're thinking Genghis of The Shadow, Khan? brother. And it wasn't the Genghis Shadow. Khan. It was, yeah, um, it was Genghis some Khan. great great descendant of Genghis Khan. Oh. He yeah, had a cool Shadow. He had a cool name. It wasn't Genghis Khan, it was close to that. He was like the great descendant. Let's see here. Let me look it up. Yeah, the Shadow would be good. We did do the Phantom. Shiwan Khan. <laughs> and it was John Lone from The Hunted. Hell yeah. Definitely watched The Shadow. Oh, God. <laughs> For over a century. So, yeah, he is old as shit. Yeah. We used to stare at each other. And he wears Mickey Mouse gloves, by the way. I forgot to mention Dracula, where's Mickey Mouse gloves? I gotcha, bitch. It's not like a fucking lion, guys. It's a... Oh. I was inadvertently infected. And ever since then, I've been attracted to men. I mean, I'm sorry, I've thirsted for blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's both, actually. It's both. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like that one. That's, that's funny, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Me, me, <laughs> Oh, there's old Vlad. <laughs> Uncle just, Vlad. That's just funny, bro. <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Grandpa has a little cut on his head. He must have fell walking in the kitchen again. Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa's falling more these days. I'm worried about him. Abraham. He's Abraham Van Helsing. So stupid. My name is Abraham Van Helsing, but I changed it to Matthew. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my daughter? Christ. He's still pumping out children at 80 years old? Hell yeah. Because, I mean, he's 150. And this girl's, what, 20? So he's, he's pumping, out, pumping out. He's getting yeah, he's laid and it. having babies at 130? Hell yeah. He looks old, but he's still cranking them out, dude. <sighs> I mean, shit, dude. Whoever her mom is was down to fucking old, dude. That's for sure. I mean, he's Abraham Van Helsing. I mean, I'm sure he has some kind of celebrity. What kind of priest has this haircut? Never. I would never see this. Ever. What is this? Like, do you, you work at a Jimmy John's? What are you talking about? This guy looks like, yeah, this is like that 90s, <laughs> 90s raver boy hair. It's like, so you want pickles or you want... Look, as a priest, I gotta tell you to go seek psychiatric help. (laughs) 
you know honest, about this shit? He's I like, mean, she's like, you know about this shit? If crosses work... Oh, what? What? No, this is an illusion. Yeah. You're totally safe in the church, you understand? Like, if you're being chased by a vampire, obviously the safest place to go is a Catholic church. Walk in that place and hang out there. He can't fucking get you. It's that simple. And then you wait till the sun comes up, and then you can go attack, you know? Why, because evil things can't happen in a Catholic church? I'm, just, I'm pretty sure, like... No, but I mean, if crosses actually work, crucifixes actually work, if it's actually the Christian Judeo God... I mean, that's also also extra scary. The idea that crucifixes, crucifixes and holy water work, that just makes them scarier, because it's like, holy shit! That, like, means that like, God is real and all this fucking crazy crap you gotta wrestle with now? Dude, not... the prophecy! We need to do the prophecy! Oh, yeah, the hermaphrodite angels. Dude, put, that, put, that, put that on the fucking list. Please put that on the list. Yeah, maybe we'll watch that around Christmas time. <laughs> That's a scary movie. That could be a Halloween movie. It's more like a thriller, really. And I do oh, want to kind of... Cri- yeah, but it's not. I wouldn't call it a horror movie. I'd call it a horror movie, kind of. Nah, it's like a thriller. Supernatural thriller. Is that um, Horizon we gonna do? It that's a point? scary fucking movie. Uh, that movie's fucked up. That is a horror, <laughs> sci-fi horror. Dude, can we please do that for fucking October or whatever? Can we do or have a Horizon for October at one point? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I got. I. I, I that's what I'm kind of debating because, like, if these double features are like double features, then we could do twice as many videos. But um, is you gonna do the Sharon Stone thing? Whoa. You see how she stood up like that? That was supernatural. Oh, she's doing the smooth criminal. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? Are you doing this? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are she's you not okay? okay? No, she's not okay. <laughs> oh, you bitch. She's got the strongest ankles I've ever seen. <laughs> she's like, she's just licking the window Whoa. and pressing her face against it. I can see I can through see. your pants. Yeah, I can see you've got a micro penis. Yeah, it's little. It's not impressive, buddy. Your bald friend is way bigger. Oh, she is doing the Sharon Stone. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, never mind. This guy's gonna give us the old clam jam. Oh, that glass is not fucking any form of protected. <laughs> what? Yeah, I didn't realize you could just like you know lunge yourself through that. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, dignity. Die with dignity, you fucking pussy. Coachella. Oh yeah, the big clown and giant oh, eye parade. Of course, our favorite. Oh, is it actually Halloween, or is just New Orleans just always like this? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I couldn't answer that very properly. Jelly rolls. Look at this useless cop over there, just like looking at the mayhem. I mean, who the fuck cleans up these beads every night? That's a great question. There's someone with a job that they got on Craigslist is like, you, you want to fucking gotta... make, fi- you want to make seventeen bucks an hour? If I can pick up these fucking beads. The sanitation department at New Orleans is working overtime every year, all year. I I don't like to go back, but like, uh, let's see here. You're still her father, mate. Yeah, whatever. I like how this uh, random black dude is just like watching these fucking tourists just litter his home. <laughs> his like not, area. You know? not, he's just not like freaking out at all. He's like, I'm so used to it. He's like, God, I fucking hate these people coming to my my town and just being idiots. That's why I gladly overcharge them. Random everything. footage montage. Totally rock and roll. Oh, he's liking all the sacrilege that modern '90s uh, America has.
You know, it's funny because, like, I bet you, like, this stupid song is the one that's going to get me in trouble with the fucking movies, the videos. It's always like, yeah, Dracula 2000, nobody cares about. But this one song by this crappy rock band, nah, it's got a block on it. <laughs> God damn it, are you serious? Right? You know what? You're probably right. Ah, see, again, look how ridiculous he looks in that coat. And I guess he he's stole it. He's sitting right in. What are you talking about? He's sitting right in. Well, I Nobody's guess right. noticing any difference. Dude, he's walking in like Batman. You know, imagine if someone... Yeah, everyone's staring at you, but not because you're sexy. I Maybe you are, but I don't know. No. It's vampire powers, but I would be the one guy in the back of this out record store just like... Oh, uh, who the fuck is this guy? Is this guy, like, in a band? <laughs> like, everyone's looking at him like they know him. Like, he's a Does rock he star? He never wants to bang. He just wants to eat. Oh, my eat. God. You know what I'm noticing right now? This is... It's bad Tower enough the bitch, the bitch works at Virgin. So there's, like, even more Virgin Records advertising. It's like a fucking backdrop for advertising. You'll enjoy the soundtrack for Dracula 2000, brought to you by Virgin Records. Only available at your local warehouse music. Remember fucking Blockbuster Music and like CD stores? Jesus. And then they'd hire some pretty girl to just act like, you know, there'd be like three pretty girls to help you find random crap. Just suggest what they like. And then there's like one nerd, big fat Brian Posehn looking dude who has like encyclopedic knowledge of all the music. <laughs> right? He's, he's like God at the fucking music store. For real. You ask him whatever. Always, oh, mighty record store manager, please direct me to this song I'm looking for. I unlocked your door and let the stranger in your house. Is that all right? Well, I live here too, so, you know. You should hang out. I mean, it's like the mind control, though, right? She's like, I'm a heavy cat that describes it everywhere, so. Wait, what'd you say? I'm a heavy Catholic, so there's crosses everywhere. Oh. Like he goes inside, he just like crosses everywhere. Well, I could tell just from walking to the door, this house is going to be a mess. I mean, it's look at this. Kinds of fucked up. This is the first thing you see walking in. It's not a good this sign. Fucking fucked up dolls. Look and how dusty and shit. everything is. This woman has a pile of laundry, two feet tall, in a fucking corner of a room. And then she's got another pile of laundry right next to it, even taller. <laughs> or she's got all of her laundry. He, like, gets he gets butt ass naked right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, might as well. She's. She's giving a sign. You haven't even told me your name, handsome stranger. I'm about to take my shirt off. She walks into her room and she has to take all this fucking dirty clothes off of the half of her bread bed. Oh, sorry. There's like all these dishes piled up on the fucking corner of the room. Cat hair everywhere. Whoopsie. Vampires are afraid of cats for some reason, or cats don't like Oh, he like is going to bang. All right, yeah. he's going to bang, and then he's going to eat. All I right. like I like when Dracula fucks. I like it when Dracula, you know, is a sexual being. But it is weird. She's not even tripped out by the fact that he's making her levitate and shit? It's like an herbal essence commercial, you know? You're like... You're going to bang on the ceiling? She awesome. thinks it's like... She's like, she's so enthralled in the throes of passion, she's not even realizing she's on the ceiling right now. Oh, titties! I gotta blur those out. I put that in the notes. And I had to blur out Ger Gerard Butler's butt right there. Save some for me, roommate. I gotta make a holly get some. Jeez. Hip hop. Oh, they got the black girl in the hip hop section. Okay, I see how it is. Racist. Dude, nowadays you'd see a girl wearing a little crucifix like that on her cro on her neck. You just people would just make fun of her and be like, "What the fuck? Who are you?" You see, I'm looking for a very expensive antique. Which brings me here to the record store. <laughs> oh my god. Mary, I know about your mother. I know about how she took you off the school. 
Scotland, Canada here. She never told you the reason, did you? You never knew why you lived in Scotland, did you? It's because I'm your father, Mary. I was two years old when I impregnated her. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I'd be freaking out. You'd be like, hey, the guy, hey, I'm a stranger. Uh, you know you've been dreaming about a strange, handsome man? Well, he's real and he's coming to kill you. Um, oh my god, not you again. Honestly, shame on him for not recognizing the guy. <laughs> he's even wearing the same fucking clothes. Yeah, there we go. Why? I mean, why doesn't he just disguise himself as a vampire? Can't he just change his face? If he could change his teeth and his eyes? Dude, those are my expensive drafting pencils. Ow! Oh god, alright, he has a broke he has a shattered tailbone right now. Imagine if I lunged a dumpster at your hip. I don't think you'd be able to walk that one off. A punch from a guy who can jump that far and kick that hard and whatever uh, would knock you out. I like his banana shaped knife. It has that nice curve. Like, you would feel that knife go in and up, you know? Like, ah! <laughs> like, God. <laughs> I'm standing right behind you. Oh, please. Homegirl already walked off because she's bored. She's just, like, already back walking back to her house. She's, she left, like, 55 minutes ago. Nothing to explain here, folks. I just cut off a random dude's head. Actually, it'd be funnier if she was just still there watching. <laughs> like an idiot. It's like, you so, haven't run off yet? So it's not a good time, but I just wanted to watch. Are you decent, Mary? Your father's here. Your 90-year-old father's here to visit you. Mm. 190. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I always carry a cocked pistol in my hand. I'm surprised Christopher Plummer is in this movie this much, you know? I, I thought he would be in this movie for just a scene or two. He's like a major character. So he's not a vampire because he, he, he can see his own... Yeah. But... Function. She's mine. Oh, so now Dracula has pretty blue eyes. I swear to God, the audio mix in this movie is so terrible. <laughs> I can barely hear what anyone's saying. Take me? Hey, Ferks him in the bird. Okay. He fell on his head. I like how the roommate's just so blissfully, like, in her post-coitus sleep. She doesn't even realize, like, an old man's being thrown into their giant mirror right outside her bedroom door. Right. Also, is she dead? I'm assuming she's dead, or did he literally just have sex with her? If so, nice. He's like, look, dude, I don't gotta drink my blood of my actual girlfriend. <laughs> that one record store. New thing. phone, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> For the younger people listening, this is a landline telephone, and that noise you were hearing was a was what we used to call the ring, the dial tone, the ring tone, the ring. There were no. Funny songs you could download. She just always looks so 
Stoned. She's on pills, remember? She's oh, right. Pilled out. Yeah, yeah. She's all pilled out. Yeah. Maybe this actress took that into her account, into a character. You know, like maybe she's Probably. purposely acting all spaced out and weird. Yeah, that's gonna do a lot. Like, drink every time she closes her mouth. Like, her mouth is always just open. Her lips are rarely touching. Incel? Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> See-through electronics. I miss that. I wish my laptop was see-through right now. I could see all the inner workings. It won't be that exciting, I promise. Yeah, but it's just <laughs> hidden behind a cool little, like, you know, colored plastic shell. It's see-through. That was such a that was such a look. Everyone misses it. Bring it back, goddammit. It'll be back. Daddy's hiding something under the sheet she for you. The room of a burner, kind of. Totally, level. totally pitching a tent, dude. Like I said, someone's laying under that sheet with a huge part on. <laughs> Lucy, I swear I'm not hiding under the sheet with a big boner for you to find. <laughs> Oh, that's totally a penis. Oh, no. Darn. It's just a bloody scepter. Impaled in the bed? God damn it, my roommate was eating strawberry jam in my bed again! Oh, fuck, never mind. Look at all the food he wasted. Oh, that's your dad because of the ring. Oh. But does she know that's her dad? She's just gonna find a random old man. It's just a random old dude in her under her bed. She does she know that's her father? Ooh. Oh, she does. Father. Oh, it's real. It's not a hallucination. Pills. More pills. Yeah. Did my roommate hear anything? What? How, uh, Becky! Why are you in my roommate's room? Uh, my dad was like, were you fucking my dad? <laughs> oh, God. It's better than chocolate. Dracula sex. Dracula cock. Cockulate. What is the name of that Zoom called? Oh, it's called the Dolly Zoom. The Dolly Zoom, yeah. Yeah, Jaws. It's pretty cool. That lens effect is neat. Becky, I love what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, Jerry. I'm glad you're back. Why is she not in this movie more? And wearing less? Oh, I like the... Okay, so here we have the Dracula Brides. All right. She's, he's always, Dracula always has three bitches that are, like, obsessed with him. And then there's one human woman that he's, like, pining for. Such a... Such a trope. Oh, so she's... He never told his name. He never told them her, his name. So how do they know his name is Dracula? I guess, like, that's the thing, is once they become vampires, they kind of just know what the deal is. I don't know. As soon as they wake yeah, up as a vampire, they're like, all right, I'm on board. Gonna go do Dracula's Blood bidding. Blood-born pathogens, people. It's a real deal, you know? Blood-born pathogens, you know? I like, um... Yeah, like, this idea that Van Helsing, you know, he got tainted by Dracula's blood, and then later he had this daughter, and she has some kind of, like, essence of Dracula in her DNA, which is why she's special. So he's trying to feast on his own daughter? To... Wait. 
I don't know. Yeah, like, I think he's trying to turn her into his bride. Uh, what are you eating there? <laughs> I can hear every fucking wrinkle of whatever the hell that... Oh. Wait, he's trying to turn his daughter into his bride? That, that can't be right. That's not his daughter. It's like his... Uh, Granddaughter. His, his enemy's daughter, who has some kind of, uh, you know, blood, blood uh, similarities with Dracula. I don't know, dude. Wes Craven. The guy shot a wolf with a fucking metal pencil and it turned into bats. I mean, come on. Yeah, but like, what happened to the other vampires that got shot by that thing? They didn't turn into fucking bats. Well, he's Dracula. He's like super vampire, I guess. Yeah. Fucking Draculas, man. When your house gets infested with Draculas, you've got to call an antiques dealer. I don't understand this movie at all. These are literally just crappy song lyrics, dude. I don't know what this book is. <laughs> like, what is this? It belongs to your father. I think there's some dope poetry in here. Your dad was really deep, bro. <laughs> your dad should have been, like, an author. Still, I must carry on. I was like, well, I need to fucking hack a mainframe, so... Sorry, that is your name, Simon, right? We just met, remember? Well, there's an old church where I met uh, that priest who was in that show. Firefly. God damn. I tell you, the money laundering of the church is... It knows no bounds. You see the size of that fucking building? I wish I didn't have to pay taxes. God damn. For my own religion. Look at those mega churches. Where, like, dork side, like, the church of the dork side, where we worship shitty movies. There you go. Fuck you. Church of the dork side. Yeah, now, now I, you don't have to pay taxes. Now I don't have to shit. pay you any taxes for some reason. How is that fair? <coughs> church of the dork side. <laughs> church of the dork side, bro. File it, dude. Let's get it going. I'm literally on the going. computer right now doing it. Dude, do it. <laughs> Seriously. Dare you. Why is this guy covered with hickeys? Have, are you noticing that? I said I didn't say something in the past scene because he had a bruise on his neck, but now he's got another bruise on his other side of his neck. Yeah, I'd explain. So I think he's making out with the actresses and stuff between... I think he's, like, you know... Making it happen. Maybe by doing right by you. <laughs> that smile. Would you like to spray paint a computer with me? <laughs> Your father kept us safe for a hundred years from evil. Now that he's dead, we're all fucked, mate. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm joking that I'm, you know, an antiques dealer, but fuck, mate. I'm an antiques dealer. Like, I don't think... <laughs> uh, we need to call the army. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, military? Call. We need, um... We got a Dracula situation in New Orleans. Like, who do you call about that? National Guard? <laughs> FBI? Is it the CIA involved? Because it's a... A, a, a foreign a, a terrorist threat? You know, he's from another country. You know? <laughs> He's from Transylvania. Is he though? Yeah, definitely. I mean, is that I mean he's certainly not a accent? United States citizen. He's well, certainly that never. Dracula has a really shitty Transylvanian accent. I'll tell you that right now. Oh yeah, I guess he's like. I mean, Gerard Butler's Scottish. Yeah, but he's not like. He played a, a, a Spartan with his Scottish yeah. accent. Nobody cared. I'll never drink wine, laddie. <laughs> the children they, of the night. They need super soakers and a priest on their side. Yeah, That's holy water. Mean. Yeah. I mean, they're in a priest. What is in his neck? Oh, it's because oh, it's because Dracula was holding him. I got it. Thumb pr fingerprints. He's got okay. There is his thumbprint on his left side. Dracula was holding him. That's actually cool. That's actually uh, that's actually quite nice. 
Nice detail. Because, yes, if I grabbed you with one hand and lifted you up by your neck, you're damn right your neck's going to bruise. That hurts. I want to suck your blood, matey, laddie. <laughs> I've got to suck your blood, laddie. I'm Dracula. I'm from Scotland. I come from Transylvania. I'm not Scottish. I'm Dracula. I come from Transylvania. That's a book. Propaganda. Oh, God. The Bible's propaganda, bro. I've been listening to a lot of Marilyn Manson. He opened up my eyes. <laughs> what? Yeah, not propaganda. See? Paper and ink. Paper and ink. Fucking, fucking, fucking vampire. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Right. That's why it would be extra terrifying if, like, you took holy water and threw it on the vampire's face and it fucking scalded him. Ah! You'd be like, oh, cool. But then you'd be like, holy shit. Holy water works? Like, that would fucking freak you out, you know? You'd be like, oh, God. I gotta go to... Yes, you're like, we need a kabuki, <laughs> we, like, we need a kabuki cannon, and we need to crush up a bunch of these fucking Bible papers and stuff it in there. It's because, like, apparently Bible papers causes pain? Like, I don't know. You could kabuki cannon a bunch of fucking biblical confetti at his ass. Kabuki, kabuki cannon. Biblical confetti, dude. I used to fucking play bass for kabuki here. cannon. <laughs> kabuki cannon, dude. You um, know about kabuki cannons? Those things that the yeah. freaking yeah. games, they freaking kabuki. They can pick you that shit. Ooh, that's why he's wearing that stupid coat, so he so can he do can things like that. <laughs> yeah, he can... yeah, he can flip it. He can... Why are you going to be desecrating other people's mausoleums? Also, like, yeah, being... Ooh, I bet you that hole stinks. Ooh. Oh, oh, don't put your face near that. There's a rotten corpse right, in there. Critters living in there. Get in there. There's critters. Yeah, the rats will help you. I'm just crawling in this human-sized hole. Don't mind me. Ew, it's all gooey in there. Yep. It would be dry. Let's be real. It'd be like dust. Mary! <sighs> yeah, now you're trapped, you dummy. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. See, I thought Dracula was just going to go in there with you. Maybe you keep on burning. Proud Mary, keep on turning. Rolling, rolling. Like, you know what? I'm kind of into that. Don't come what? after me. I like my new vampire boyfriend. <laughs> we'll send you a postcard. Show us titties. Yay, there's some titties I have to blur out. Because they play, like, hard metal. Or they play, sorry, they play rock and fucking... Shit, these things, I don't know. No, this is 2000s, where this, this kind of fucking shit metal was being forced down our throats. Again, it's Virgin Records. They're like, alright, Dracula, all right. Matrix, Marilyn Manson, this shit's all popular, Rob Zombie, yeah, we'll just... Everything just had this, like... Everything was appealing to angsty teenagers, for some reason. I was there, I remember that. I was one of those uh, we less angsty we, teenagers. We were, right, we were right there, yeah. <laughs> I was, I like, was like a chill teenager making fun of all the fucking sad goth kids. I was like, you guys... Chill. I remember seeing... I mean, I, I grew up in El Paso, dude. The goth kids would like be high as fuck on heroin in school. And you'd just be like, yeah, damn, dude, why even come to school? You know, like... Yeah, why even Mom will yell at me if I do heroin at home and stay home and play hooky. I saw a bush. I think I just saw that lady's bush. Right. I guess, uh... I mean, Dracula's brides are, uh... Definitely, uh... Digging it. Oh, yeah, let's go to the one secluded area of Mardi Gras. Yeah, where no one else can see what's going on or help. 
There should be like the camera pans to the right, and there's like people like at a patio, like diner, like eating fucking fucking lunch, eating slate, early supper, having margaritas uh, right behind them. What the fuck's happening? There's always, supposed to have a threesome. Why does Dracula always have three vampire what brides? And where are they matching? They definitely went out and got costumes together. Yeah, come on, Simon. You could belong to us. But we belong to him, so therefore, you'd be his too. <laughs> These Dracula bitches are all talking like a hippie commune, you know? We'll all be lovers soon. Oh, not Jerry. She's the hottest one. Definitely the most famous one. The highest paid one, I thought, I'd hope. No, uh, he's fucking out. <laughs> It's like large crucifixes don't affect me whatsoever. I was bored by the very wrath of God. All right, dude. Delusions of grandeur. Dude, are you not paying attention for Christ's sake? I'm Dracula. <laughs> Got rid of my fangs and my scary red eyes for you. Gave me a weird looking crazy look in my eyes permanently. Don't you understand I'm obsessed with you? It's like no one's ever touched me like this before. I kind of like it. Like, <laughs> I want to be one of your weird bitches. You'll be my bottom vampire bitch. Ooh, the Fountain of Youth. Oh, her face fucking turned into a weird thing, dude. Did you see that? He put that her in, he, he like, yeah, she put her in like a little condom. And now they're in a, a lame 80s, 90s music video. Who do you love when you come undone? <laughs> Visions of Jesus. <laughs> That's Jesus. Hey, <laughs> drink. Jesus is in the movie. <laughs> oh no, he's one of Jesus's apostles. There's, there's uh, Gerard Butler. He's the one. He's a uh, what was it? Uh, Judas. Is he Judas? You telling me the fucking Dracula comes from Judas? Is that why silver kills vampires because of the thirty pieces of silver? Wow. I did not think this movie would be so, uh... That was some glamping. Really? He's literally Judas? Are you fucking serious? Okay. Alright. I thought he was Vlad the Impaler. You know? Or I guess he became well, yeah. Vlad the Impaler also? I guess, uh, yeah, the Duncan Line. Yeah. You know, come to think of it, I haven't impaled anybody except you're dead. I need to impale some more people. Lame metal music. So, take that, Jesus. <laughs> well, uh, uh, he's like, like, yeah. I'm not sorry. He's like, I'm not sorry. You give <laughs> your blood and I take blood. But you know what? I give them eternity on You're earth right and let them be right. sinners. <laughs> so you're talking to a sign. Yeah, that's not actually Jesus, Dracula. You are aware of that, right? It's a hotel sign. Is he in her pills too? Yeah. 
Let's go to the Golden Corral. Yeah. <laughs> go try that coconut shrimp. I like it when Dracula can't eat or drink any normal food. It sucks. Would you just order a steak, at, like, rare? Like, suck all the juice out of it, I guess? I don't know. Well, it's myoglobin. It's not blood. But I'm sure... Myoglobin? It's not hemoglobins? Oh, hemoglobin? So he needs hemoglobins? I guess. Do you have good hemoglobins? That's what he asked people on a first date. Remember when we watched Vampire Dog and the fucking dog vampire needed a uh, gelatin? <laughs> so he just yeah. ate jelly? That was a fun one. But... Does he have good hemoglobins? Though? That's the main question. So these vampire bitches basically abducted Simon to set a jealousy trap for Jackula because they're not happy that he is in f favor of Mary. I want to look this up on Google. If a Dracula drinks a person's blood with AIDS, do they get AIDS? No. I don't oh, even think man. if you drink someone's blood with AIDS, you get AIDS. Really? Y yeah, you have to, like, have... You'd have to do a blood transfusion. Oh. Uh. Unless you have an open wound in your mouth, perhaps. Right. Right. Yes. You, you like swish it around in your mouth for a bit. <laughs> or, or yeah, maybe you have maybe you have an ulcer. There you go. And yeah, you got ulcer. Yeah, you got a you got bleeding ulcer. ulcer in your belly. And then you choose to drink a vamp. But see, that's the other thing no, no, is like, no, see, no, like no, the no. thing Age is like, blood. you can eat like viruses because like your stomach acid will, you know, should theoretically. Uh, Kill them. Foodborne illnesses is when you eat like certain bacteria that thrive in those conditions. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so these bitches' jobs is just to look sexy and just keep sticking their tongue out and show off their dumb fake fangs. I'm here for it. <laughs> I want to do him, Daddy. Let me do him. Let me use the banana knife. Come on. Die, die, die. Stab, 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 stab. Banana and then end credits, knife. And then end credits. And then end credits. And then end credits. <laughs> That'd be so funny if they just kill this guy and then they, and then they all celebrate and have a big fuck fest and then that's the end of the okay, movie. Okay. This knife really chops off heads very easily. Or maybe it's like in From Dust Till Dawn, how the vampires have like really soft bodies. <laughs> like they're kind of like decomposing, you know? So she's like immune to his shit because, <coughs> on some level because she's got that blood on him or something? Well, I guess she was technically being turned into a vampire, but she's resisting the power. There is like this willpower element, like she can break free of his spell. Ooh, vampire flips. Again, Matrix. This is why all the vampires are doing all the superhuman shit and trench coats and fucking, I swear to God, dude, Matrix made so many movies that were so dumb. <laughs> like, yeah, everything has to have this kung fu aesthetic. Trench coats. It would be way cooler if they had more kung fu. I'll but it's not having that. any techno music. It's having lame rock music. They're trying a different thing with the soundtrack. Because Virgin Records is like, hey, all of our techno stuff is doing great because of the Matrix, but let's make another Matrix knockoff and start shoving new metal down everyone's throat. Now, who is this actress? I can't place her. That's not Jenna Hayes, the porn star. Ooh. Yeah. I know it's silly, but it's like, hey, dude, she's showing her underwear off, so I'll allow it. Doing flips and kicking guys and breaking sticks. God. Again, that's just a Jesus, sign. And then Jesus shows up. You, like, <laughs> yeah. bless her the sign. you rang. If this movie devolved into Jesus and Dracula fist fighting, it would be such a goddamn masterpiece. Right? I, I agree. It's like Jesus. You like, could cut like, their head off with some garden this. shears. <laughs> Are you serious with one click? Okay. 
Didn't you have to gnaw on it for Wait. a while with the thing? Like, gah, 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 gah. Where's yeah. all the Mardi Gras people? Did they leave because of the sparks? You'd think more people would be there because of the sparks. Hey, there's a fight going on up there by the Jesus sign. Whoa! You could have hurt either one of us. You could have easily hurt Mary, sir. Yeah, I know. He did it before with the other gun. He took a shot at them both and they disappeared. He's like, you could have shot her in the face. You, we know you're just an ass, uh, uh, fucking antiques, dude. It's just collateral damage, dude. Acceptable losses. I mean, to be fair, it's Dracula. I mean, if they both gotta go to kill Dracula, I'd be like, fuck, dude, she's already a vampire at this point. And it turns out she's been kind of vampire this whole time. It looks like he's holding, she's holding him by the junk. See? <laughs> She grabs onto his dick and She's just like, hangs by that thing. Holding him by his balls, that's why he's making that face. Ow! <laughs> God, that hurts. Oh, how appropriate. He's seeing the irony here. He's laughing a little. Isn't she a vampire already? Can't yeah, she, like, you'll, take you'll be fine. I'm going to drop you'll you. You'll be fine. Dude, my might, might break, but they'll heal. It'll be cool. Try to land on your vampire feet like he did earlier. Ugh, stupid. That cement was so obviously made out of cardboard. <laughs> Is he jerking off? Is he doing the auto erotic asphyxiation? And I'm releasing in my pants. Oh, this feels cool. Oh, it is oh, better. So erotic. <laughs> it is better when you choke yourself. It's like so much better. Whoa. <laughs> God. Oh, oh, it's still lasting. It's still happening. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like turning Super Saiyan. I'm, I'm so confused, like, how the passage of time is happening, because it seemed like everyone was rustling and bustling down there, and then that guy showed up, and then they started fighting with the vampire girls, and um, everyone was gone, and then the guy fell down, and now the sun is up, and now it's 8 in the morning. I don't understand. Does time move 10 times slower when you're a vampire? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you are immortal. You think it'd move faster? Anyway, we'll end the movie tastefully with Judas <laughs> fucking hanging from the goddamn tree after he betrayed Jesus Christ. So this was a religious film more so than anything. The movie's extremely anti-Semitic. I mean, what is now? What isn't nowadays? Right. <laughs> Ban the ADL. Oh, she's wearing leather pants now to match her boyfriend with his leather jacket. Other other anti-Semitic was purely against Jews. I am my father's daughter. Yeah, I mean, saying that Jesus is real is technically anti-Semitic. Oh, she's a vampire. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, they, they believe in Jesus. They don't believe he was a Jew, Jew right? Look, I'm the Jews right. are the chosen ones. And if you the disagree Jews, with the, that, then, you know. The Jews, I thought, believed that Jesus was real, but didn't believe he was the son of God or something. Right. That is correct. Um, but they, they're like, don't deny his existence. See? Remember what I said about fucking new metal? It's like this shit. What is yeah, this, corn? Yeah, times. It was like the, the crow. And you know what I... Well, no, the crow was earlier, and the crow was that yeah, industrial was like metal, like nine-inch nails. Nine-inch nails and all that cool kind of grimy shit. I don't know why that stuff was cooler. This seemed more like... This is like this emo rock. Not emo, but yeah. You uh, whiny rock! This, 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 this was like what we grew up. We grew up hearing this shit. Yeah, the crow was more like alt-rock, alternative, uh, grunge, and uh, industrial... Metal. The movie was really bad. I know. It's Schlocktober, brother. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, fucking fuck you, Danny Masterson. 
<laughs> just, yeah, Danny Madison. Assuming you freaking violated heavily in jail. Assuming you actually did what the hell, uh, you know, I don't know the details yeah, of if anything. He did, if he did, what, if he did that, if you're innocent, yeah. then free Danny Masterson. Free? No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I don't on. know. But if not, burn in hell. No, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just, uh, you know, I really don't care enough because you're not that big of a celebrity, but. I hope you figure it out, Danny. I hope. I hope uh, if you are guilty, no, he'll figure it out. He'll figure yeah. it out by getting thirty years of being butt fucked. Um, 